Itchy exposed. I mean, that's headline news. Nothing about welfare reforms taking billions away from people who actually need it. People love to hear about the cheats. <sighs> no, papers like that just want to demonise people who are poor or in need. I mean, where's the outrage at social inequality? Where are the headlines about people struggling to buy food? Talking of which. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, thanks. Uh. Hiya. Hey, Sean. Hey. Oh, hey, up. What's to do? Have you had a row? Oh, no, sorry. Um, I'm just still waiting for the uh, surrogacy agency to call back. Well, you know, just because they haven't been in touch, it doesn't mean yeah, it's not still on. I know, I've just got a bad feeling, that's all. I mean, this isn't helping. You know, even if the surrogacy does work out, all this poverty and hatred. I mean, what sort of world are our children going to grow up in? Who's that? Uh, oh, it's just Lay. She's in town. Wants to know if I can meet her for lunch. Uh, why are you still here then? Don't know. Go on, love, you go. We can manage, can't we? Yeah. I've only got this meeting with the brewery about this new craft beer. Why does everything have to be craft at the moment? I mean, you've got, you've got craft gin. You've got craft wine. And scintillating conversation like that is exactly why you need to get out of here. You what? Oh, come on, you need to work on your chat a bit more. You know, you, at the end of the day, you are competing for my company with the likes of the Thatcher Girls. And Dem's a hoot. Go on, love, you go. Enjoy yourself. Mm. Go on. OK. See you later. So, how are the Newton and Ridley Pete? Great. No, they're giving you grief already. No, no, not at all. You know that new, uh, that new beer they're launching? Oh, Miss Grids. Yeah, uh, yeah, they've been banging on about that for ages. Miss you what? It's one of their MIPS of trendy craft beers. Yeah, they sent me a load of bump about it, going on about how edgy and anti-establishment it's going to be. Yeah, well, look, hey, I've got some here. How can a beer be anti-establishment? I suppose if it's got a name no one can pronounce for starters. Right, OK, so it's a dangerously punchy combination of big flavour hops. Sounds dead edgy, that. <laughs> I hate it when they give beer trendy names. They did it with real ale, calling it craft. Yeah, well, it's a marketing ploy, innit? Mark my, my words, craft is just real ale with more tattoos and fancier beards. Yeah, all right. Anyway, as I was saying, the good news is the place they were going to use for the launch has flooded its cellar, so they want to use here instead. When? Uh, Sunday. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh, yeah, I know it's going to be a fair bit of work, but, you know, they've given us a free barrel of samples, so that's great news, isn't it? That gets bombs on seats. Well, another way of looking at it is uh, you do all the work, they drink all the freebies and go. Sounds good to me. Yeah, me. Yeah, well, not everybody's like these two, you know. <laughs> Peter, 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 you have so much to learn. Not at all patronising. Look, I know I Newton and Ridley were. You know what this is really about, don't you? You know, the spying on you and Toya. What are you talking about? Well, you know, you are a uh, unknown quantity in a pub that's very important to them. Yeah, a Weatherfield institution. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, chances are they've probably heard about your chequered history and they just want to kick taps. What's that supposed to mean? What do you mean, my chequered history? Steve, what have you told them? This is Ritley. 